Hey everybody, what are we doing today? We are, oh that's cute. We are charcoaling wood for a strawberry garden. This is not a tutorial. This is just something that I'm doing that's fun. Okay, so don't come for me in the comments that I'm doing it wrong. Why is the bark still on there? Um, this is not um, a longevity project. This is strawberry garden, temporary, two years tops. So that's why we're leaving the bark on. I know it's not going to last as long with the bark on, okay? So just save your comments for that, okay? Okay, thank you. So I'm just doing it for look. I want the black look. I'm happy with it. This is what I wanna do, it's my project. So yeah, here we go. So we went to Harbor Freight and we got a torch. Now this is a self igniting torch and you just push the red button to light it once you hook it up to the propane tank. It was fairly simple to use. Um, I've never used one before and today is my first day and I've already done one and a half and it's very easy. It was very easy. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Anybody can do it basically. Follow the directions and the safety precautions and all that kind of stuff so you can stay safe. Um, other than that it's basically a no-brainer like you can do it anybody can do it so i'm gonna show y'all how i do it here we go this is the self-igniter this is the torch this is the trigger basically you just pull it after you turn this knob to turn it on and then you just pull your trigger and you go to work it's very simple here we go Y'all look close up. It's still smoking. But that's one I'm working on right now. Here's a finished one over here. As you can see, it's very dark. And I'm going to eventually add a glaze over the top of it. But this is the first piece. And it's eight feet, like I said. And that is a completed one. And that one, it still looks like it has a lot of work to do. But that's only because the ash is still on it. Once I... Get all the ash off it you see it'll be dark black just like that one and that's the exact look that i'm going for here's my other pieces back here and these were some trees that we had growing on our land that we did not want we was clearing out the area and instead of burning them completely to ash i decided to use them for a post and as a matter of fact we have lots more not not there but back there there's lots more that are going to be a fence for my garden that's right there so that's coming up next um i'll bring you guys along so much fun i cannot hardly wait to show you guys all the things that we have planned for this spring and summer um the garden is looking so good i grew everything except the strawberries from seed and it is amazing i'm so happy about that like i'm proud of myself i cannot believe i've done that but yeah it looks really good so back to my project um i'll do a little bit so you guys can watch um but for the most part i'll show you guys the end results when i'm um putting everything together i gotta buy some more dirt for the strawberry garden to raise it up 
it's gonna be a raised bed so i gotta get some more dirt and i'll show you guys that too and uh yeah uh see you guys in a moment
Hey everybody. So, um, what are we doing today? Today, we're doing the strawberry garden. Woo! I'm so excited about this strawberry garden. You guys have no idea. So, we went to Lowe's today and I got all my dirt. At least I think I got enough dirt to do everything. I got eight bags of um, flower, vegetable, and garden soil. And I got two bags of black cow to go um, on, on the very top as uh, my fertilizer for my plants. So what I've done before, you saw me till the, um, the basic soil and now I'm just going over and I'm mixing that soil because it's mostly clay. And I'm mixing that soil in with this veg vegetable soil mix. And so hopefully that will allow the soil to drain a little bit better because strawberries like well-drained soil. So hopefully this will remedy the clay that's in this dirt by mixing it. It'll become more crumbly. So let's get started. I've already put in two bags and I've tilled those bags into the basic soil. And now I'm just going to go through, add the rest of the bags and I'll be tilling and adding bags periodically as I go along. Also, one half of this bed is, is, um, is slanted like this. So this end holds the water while this end drains well. So what I'm gonna try to do is even that out a little bit and raise the bed so it's like this instead of leaning down like this. We'll see if that works. I'm pretty sure it will. So uh, stay tuned if you wanna see the strawberry bed come together. You guys also saw me burning all of these and my husband nailed these woods together. And I just stapled plastic around the inside to keep the dirt in because there were gaps in the wood so I just stapled some plastic to keep all my dirt in and so um yeah so let's get started well let's continue because I've already started Half time. okay so I got these bags from Lowe's and they were eight dollars and some change per bag and I got eight of those bags um, to fill this bed nearly to the top. So right now I'm just opening the bags and I'm going to shovel them out um, into the bed. Trying to mix up um, that clay soil with something else just so that um, the roots of the strawberry plant they can spread and grow without He's having a such break. a hard time pushing through that clay. Also, clay oh. doesn't drain well at all. So I definitely needed to um, amend the soil so that um, it can drain, so that that clay soil can have something to drain through. So when you mix it up like that, um, the clay doesn't clump together so bad, and it will allow the water to um, to drain through to the bottom. And when you have strawberries, they have to be um, they have to be planted in well draining soil or uh, else the roots will rise. Also, if you plant strawberry plants too low the um, and cover up the crown of the plant, they will also rot. I'm sorry, but I did not film actually putting the strawberry plants into the bed because we got some company and I started talking to my company and I didn't get a chance to um, to do that. Um, however, I do have a clip of the finished strawberry garden when they started to um, branch off the mother plant and make their own little separate strawberry plants. I do have that, the finished garden. Um, it turned out really, really well, so I did a good job of mixing that clay soil in with this and it was enough so yeah here's my daughter um reluctantly helping me <laughs> helping me um spread this dirt in this garden it really didn't take that long for us to do it um in between the tilling and the spreading of this dirt i think it may have taken about two hours to do and it was a fun little project that we, that I know I enjoyed. And actually, it's later. It's, 
at, towards the end of the summer now. And we got about, I don't know, maybe 20 strawberries from the original plants. I think I set out, how many did I set out? Like 16? And they were little uh, bare root plants that I got from um, Lowe's. And so with those, you have to soak them in water and um, for a couple of hours and then plant them. And so I didn't plant them directly into the garden. I waited and I planted them in separate little pots, smaller pots, and I, I allowed the root to take in that dirt, allowed some more leaves to get on there. And I think maybe a month later, I planted them into this garden to make sure that the root system was well developed. And so this is me trying to start this tiller. I think it may have been out of gas. Technically, I really don't need these Because I'm not going to spend them. Okay, I'm gonna have to come ready. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty low. Go for this little piece right here. 
Yeah, I definitely want to get this in because I don't want no low spot. So good, it makes you want to put more of these strawberries on. Thanks, buddy, for more than Lord. Yep, that's exactly what I was looking at. <laughs> before you put that lab bag in, I want to put that blue camel noodle jump down there first. Oh no, the strawberries are going to go, they're going right in the hole with the strawberries. You can spread them out more to uh, let them spread out faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Too much for it. How many strawberries plants did you count? Well, the last count, I lost one. So I think I'm at 13. Well, I'm thinking I might can add something else until next season. I'll pull that out as the strawberries. So, that's basically it. I'm going to wait till the sun goes down before I actually put them in the bed. Um, just because it's a little hot right now in the bed. So, I'm going to wait till the sun goes down and I'm going to plant them when it's cooler. Um, and I'll come back and I'll show you guys show you guys how I space them and I'm going to use the triangle method to um to space them and I, I gotta go and count again but I know I don't have enough to fill this space completely but if you have ever grown strawberries you know they produce runners and those runners turn into a mother plant so I'll be filling this thing eventually um, probably before this year is up next year i have double the strawberries so this bed will get filled up i may utilize it for something else like lettuces or onion something like that maybe a tomato something like that and as you can see the pollinators are already flying around so the strawberries should get pollinated very well I'm not worried about that at all um yeah so this is the beginning of the strawberry garden. <laughs> yeah. No attention. <laughs> 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 
about that loose? Why not? No, we gonna use that. We gotta do some help with that. What? I ain't finna walk back on it. I'll make sure I fertilize it. put it down in the ground. Why are you doing it like this? That's why all these rounds to be fertilized. Down low. She's gonna go way down. So, you gotta mix the dirt with the triple 13 way down here. That's a little bit woman. So what you in this triple search? You don't know about you sometimes. Alright. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Where you got Ruth way out here? Where are you at, Ruth? No, it's not. I know the plant. I'm going to do it. Ruth, you know? Break it off right there. Be careful about it. You're putting up the leaves off the top. Hercules. 
You can get closer, it's not all the way out there. All right, that's enough, that's enough. It's too hot now. No, woman. I'm glad to see it's still black. Right here. All right. You want me to break it up? Mm-mm. Be careful. Try this thing, then this thing. This long and you've been cutting.
Yeah. <laughs> 